in this video, I want to go over Pythagoras' theorem. Now, Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician who came up with this formula or this theorem. So what he, you can prove Pythagoras' theorem in different ways. So basically, the theorem states like this. In the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the two sides. So what does it mean? This in a right angle triangle, so this is about a right angle. So this is a right angle triangle where one angle is right angle. So this side, which is the side opposite to the right angle, is called hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse and say the length is C. And these two are the sides which form the right angle. So you can say this is say if you triangle A, this is triangle ABC. AC is the hypotenuse. AC is the hypotenuse. And AB and BC are called the shorter sides. AB and BC are the sides or the shorter sides. Sides or to be specific, it is also called the shorter sides. Now, what does it mean? One thing that you understand is AC is the longest side. So you, one thing you should be very clear, AC is greater than AB. A, A, the hypotenuse is greater than AB and AC is also greater than BC. So if you want to put this in simple language, what does this mean? This means AC is the longest side. So I can use a different color. So this is what you need to understand. In a right angle triangle, AC, which is the hypotenuse here, the hypotenuse, okay, is always the longest side. Is the longest side. Just put this in words, this is what it means. You can't say which of AB or BC is greater, but you can surely say hypotenuse in a right angle triangle is the longest. Now, he measured hundreds of right angle triangles and came up with this formula, which is this side squared, A squared is the length of AB, B is the length of BC, and he added them and he also found the length of C, which is, let's say that is C. So he found this interesting result, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Now this is a simple proof of that theorem. So let's prove it in a simple way. So this is a square. So if this, this is a square, this is a square and this is also a square. So what are we saying? So if this is X, so this is also X. Okay, okay, let me put some numbers here. So let's put up a number here. So if this is three, this is also three. So the area of this triangle, sorry, area of this square is say nine. So let, let's put centimeter here, centimeter and centimeter. So the area of this triangle is nine centimeter squared. And let's say that area of the length of this is four centimeter by four centimeter. Four centimeter by four centimeter. So the area of this square would be 16 centimeter square. And it has been found, you can prove this also uh, yourself. You can, you will find you, the area of this square, which is just placed on, on top of this and this exactly you will find the area of this is going to be 25 centimeters square. Or you'll also find, in other words, this would be 5 centimeters and this is 5 centimeters. So how do I know that? Because, let me use a different color. How do I know it? Because I'm using Pythagoras. So 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. So let us understand this. So what does this mean? So 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 4 times 4 is 16, is equal to 25. So it's not 3, 4, 5. It doesn't always follow this pattern. 
okay so so don't understand if it is you got phi 7 if you got a triangle of 5 and 7 the hypotenuse will be 12 it will not be 8 okay phi so if you take phi 7 it will be 12 so you can prove that yourself so try it yourself on a calculator 5 squared plus 7 squared uh, is 13 squared, not 12. 5 plus 7, yeah, 25 is uh, is 13 squared. So let's confirm that. So let's use a calculator. Uh, without a calculator, 5 squared is 25 plus 7 squared is. Now again, I'm making a mistake. 5, 12, 13. Yeah, it's good to always check. 5 squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared plus 144 is equal to 169. So let me show this on the calculator. Phi squared, phi squared plus 12 squared is 169. And if you go 13 squared, that's also 169. Okay, so let's use this in some examples. Now these examples are taken from your workbook on page 223 so you can turn to that page so let's apply that formula so to work out a which is the hypotenuse you can pause this video and try to do it yourself those who can okay so this is a squared so let me use a Okay, so using Pythagoras, uh, let's say, write the Pythagoras theorem. So a squared, uh, no, so let's write Pythagoras. So phi squared, so we can say, say this is a, let's say this is b, and this is c. It doesn't matter. So let's write the Pythagoras theorem. So we can say b squared plus c squared b squared plus c squared is equal to a squared. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can you can replace a, b, c in whatever order. So this is what it says. These two side, the square of this plus the square of this is always going to be the square of the hypotenuse. So let's substitute the value. So I can say phi squared plus 12 squared is equal to a squared. Get your calculators out, but I can do without a calculator. This is 25 plus 144 is equal to a squared. Okay, I think we have done this question in in, in an indirect manner. So a squared, so let me write like this. So can I say 169 is equal to a squared? So I want to find a and round it into one decimal place. So to undo the square, I have to take the square root. Okay, so the opposite of square is square root. So if you take square root of this side, it will take the square root of this side. So A is square root of 169. So let me get my calculator. Shift square root of 169 is 13. So the answer is A is 13. So the length of A is 13. Again, you can pause this video and try to do this yourself. So let's first name the sides. So this is B. So let's say this is this is A, B, and this is C. Okay. So let me use this or smaller. So we can say the same thing in a different way. A squared plus C squared is equal to B squared is equal to b squared. So let's substitute the value. What is a? So it is 17 squared plus 25 squared is equal to b squared. So I need my calculator out. So let me get my calculator. So I can do the whole thing like this. 17 squared plus 25 squared equal 914. So I can say 914 914 is equal to b squared. 
So the same process, you have to undo the square, so do the opposite, square root, square root. Okay, so again, get a calculator out. On my calculator, I have to press shift, square root. On some calculators, you can, you have this key directly, so enter that square root key, and enter 914. And I want to round in one decimal point, so this is 30.2. So the answer is 30.2 units so it, your b is 30.2 and always have the good habit of writing what you're rounding so i'm rounding to 1 dp so this is the answer i'll do one more question i think so i got only two questions here so i'll make up one question you can do it yourself so let's say draw a triangle Say, let's say this is say P. Okay, let me keep it to say C. This is C. Uh, this is 8. And this is 6. Okay, this is again in your workbook on page 2 to 3. This is question C. Okay, so let me put one more. Question D is like this. I'll draw that figure. You got a triangle like this not a good drawing but that's fine so this is a right angle so this is c this is 12.3 and this is 10.9 so first you need to decide what's the hypotenuse so for those who are struggling this is the hypotenuse this is the longest side 